Hey guys, so today we're going to answer another subscriber question. We are answering, uh, there's quite a lot of these these days, which is great because that means that we finally reached that point where we're, we're having real discussions about real things. So let's get into it. Now the question in question was in response to a video that I made a little while ago where I touch on why I think that, like rather the question in that video was, so should I learn the front end first or the back end first, or should I start with the back end and then learn the front end when we're talking about web development? And this question is about basically does the same, the same concept, or rather the same mentality that I kind of relay there, apply to mobile development. In other words, do I believe that you should learn the back end before you learn mobile development? So, this is a great question. And you would think that, well, it depends on your perspective, I suppose. If you thought that I would, about things such in, in terms of, okay, there's a back end and there's a, as there's a user facing part. And since I, in the previous video said that, yeah, but the important part is that you have a full understanding of the entire stack because it will limit you otherwise when you're on the web because the server is needed in order for you to actually see something on the front end. So having a basic understanding of the back end is very vital in order to be able to make something meaningful even if you specialize in front end. But is this true for mobile? No, it is not. And just hear me out now, just hear me out. So. The reason why the same thing does not apply to mobile development is because there is no hard requirement for a mobile application to have a server. Now I know, it sounds weird, but the fact of the matter is that the distribution system of the web is the server. In other words, you need a network to see a web page. And unless you have a network, you will not be able to get any value from the applications that are made for the web. It's that simple. That's why there's a hard requirement. But for mobile devices and mobile applications, it's a very different story because there you package your application into an APK or something of that nature, or for iOS if you do that instead. And you distribute that on basically a distribution network, either just online or the App Store or so, far, so, so forth. And that means that you can actually have your users get your application, your app, and get the value of that application without the need of a server. Now, I will, and I will also go on further and say that there are actually applications out there that are quite popular that in no way uses a network. Now, that does not of course mean that that's the end of the story, because the thing is, if you want to be a mobile developer, you can absolutely get by to a certain degree on not having an understanding of a server. I will even go as far as to say that it's not really a hard requirement for you for you to know backend development. Well, I will raise my finger, just bear with me, because as I said, that there is no real hard connection here. Now, you should however know that most applications that are at the enterprise level, or apps if you will, require a network to do something meaningful. I mean, if, you're, if we're really honest here, think about most of the apps that you are using, Instagram or Facebook or whichever application you're using for your phone, they will have a network connection. They need to integrate to some type of backend in order to get data and show data and save data and do all that good stuff, right? But the, the connection isn't as hard as for the web. So for a beginner, what I would like to argue is that when it comes to mobile development, the way, the learning, the way that to learn this in the correct manner, I would say, is to start by simply learning how to make an interface. Because that's going to take a while to, to start, just to start off with. Because when you need to like kind of learn how to, depending on which platform you're going to work with, because there's two of them, if you want to be able to work on both of them, you're going to have to learn both. And they're not the same thing. So that's going to keep you occupied for quite a while to just learn how to 
anchor things and make them responsive and <laughs> make them fit on all the different devices and learn the basic interactions, the lifecycle events, all that good stuff. That alone is enough to keep you busy. Once you know those basics, the next natural step, in my opinion, becomes to be able to understand how to do local storage. In other words, the local using the phone itself to store information so that you can persist things that you're doing. Like, for example, if you made a to-do app for your phone using the local database would be the next natural thing. The third and natu natural thing that would be on the curve is to actually integrate to the different apps that are on your phone. So be able to leverage sensors and all that other good stuff. And then we come to the discussion of the network because, as I said, if you want to do it professionally, you need to be able to understand at least, and this is like the bare bones minimum, you need to understand how an API works. You need to understand how, to H how HTTP works. And you need to understand how JSON works at the very least. Without that, I don't find, I, I find it very hard to believe that you can survive as a professional mobile developer. Because as I said, almost every single large scale app uses a network somehow. So when you get to that point, you will have to make a personal choice. Now you can either do what I'm suggesting, which is, you know, skip that part and go right for integrating to APIs. And if you, if you want to take the shortcut there, using services such as AVS's Lambda functions or Firebase, for example, or any of the open APIs like Flickr and so forth will get you kind of get you a, a little way on the, like you get you to a point where you can understand how an integration works but I urge you and I, I urge you strongly to learn a server-side language because once again if you only learn how to integrate to something all you've really done is to learn the connection between the app and the server but you don't understand how the server works and lacking that holistic mindset is uh, it's not great it will make you less of a developer that i can promise you but you can survive without it so to summarize when it comes to mobile development learning the back end or the front end first the front end is the way to go here because an app in of itself can actually provide value even if there's not a network and then remember that's what you're going for because if you cannot produce an application that is value building then your skills aren't really like then you're you're lacking something which is the case for the web but for mobile development that's not the case and then finally make sure that you learn the things that you are that are required for you off you or rather you exhaust everything that you can learn about working on just the device and when you get to that point then you have the the thought thing have a think about should I go to learning now a server-side language or should I simply use a service like, say, Firebase in order to do my integration for me? Have a great day.